Now, if you scroll down, everybody has heard the word web driver. Okay, this is web driver. Web driver is nothing but web driver is the interface. Okay, it's an interface and all the classes like Android driver, Android web driver, Chrome driver, you had firing web driver, Firefox driver, HTML unit driver, iDriver, iPhone, remote web driver, Safari web driver, Safari driver, all these classes they are implementing the web driver interface. That means whatever functions are there in the web driver interface are also present inside the Chrome driver interface Firefox driver, all these drivers. For example, if you look at Uh, if you look at the get function, get function loads a new web page in the current browser window. So if I go back to my code, if I open up chrome.java which I had made, in chrome.java I made the object of chrome driver and I make the object of Firefox driver. Right. And from the documentation I can see that get is a function which is used to load a new web page. It is present in the web driver interface that is it will be present in Chrome driver as well as Firefox driver. Because both these drivers they implement the interface. Okay. So that means if I write over here. Just a minute. Yeah, if I write over here chrome dot get you can type in the URL out here for chrome suppose a protocol is very important http google dot com and in case of firefox as well you can write firefox dot get http suppose gmail dot com so the get function would be there in both of them because both of them implement the web driver interface similarly if you look at the web driver interface uh, there is a function called as a get title it returns the title of the current page which is opened so if i write over here system dot out dot print mn Chrome dot get title and Firefox dot get title. Right? So this will bring the title out of Chrome as well as Firefox. The get title function would be same. So you really don't have to worry, right? To click inside a Chrome driver, the command would be same as well as uh, and to click click on the five click on a Firefox browser, the same command will be used. So across the browsers, the commands are same. Only thing is the name of the driver classes they vary. If you run this, you will see one Firefox and one Chrome opening up. Then go to their respective browsers and open up the sites and print the titles. For example, this is Chrome driver and Hold on. Actually, on this machine, I have an older version of Chrome. So, I don't think so. This will work. It won't work out here. No, it's not working. Hold on. Yeah. It will not work out here. If there is some reason I have disabled something because of that. Okay, hold on. Uh, okay, clicking on the radio button. I will talk about it, Mali Arjun. Just wait for one day. Tomorrow, most probably, I will come over to radio button and I will tell you about I will tell you about this. Alright? Just wait for some time. Alright. Now, 
actually Malik, I was traveling yesterday because of which I also canceled the class and I, I was not able to check the emails and reply to them. You will get an email from me. Right? Now, this is about simple operations. Fine. Now, let's go back to our laptop. Okay? I made this laptop interface and HP laptop and Acer are the two classes implementing the interface. That means they would have the same set of functions in them. Fine. Now, if I go to my test laptops class, out here, I told you you can create the object of HP laptop, you can create the object of Acer, but what if I want to create it? I'll just turn it. Okay, I'll help you out. Right. So, out here, if you write over here, laptop L equals to new laptop. So, what I am doing? I am creating the object of the interface out here. Interface laptop. You will get an error. Why? You will get an error because you cannot create objects of interfaces. Always remember you cannot create objects of interfaces in Java because interfaces they are kind of abstract. They are incomplete. It's not got anything inside it. The functions are blank. So you cannot create the object of interfaces. Right? But I can write like this. I can write over here laptop L1 equals to new HP laptop. Now, this is a little bit different. Okay? This is a little bit different. HP laptop, HP equals to new HP laptop. And what I am writing over here, I am writing laptop, say, capital L equals to new HP laptop. So, how are these two lines different? Out here I am writing reference of interface is equals to new class which is implementing the interface. Okay? Right? When you write like this, there is a restriction. I will tell you. Right? Suppose in HP laptop I make a function known as public void camera. All the HP laptops, they come up with a camera. The camera function is not there in Acer, it's not there in the laptop interface. This is a function which is HP's own creation. It is not common for all the classes. Right? So if I go to my test laptop class, by the HP object over here, I can write HP dot boot, I can call all the function, I can write hp dot uh, recharge, I can write hp dot shutdown and also I can write hp dot camera. So this is a local function for hp, I can call it if I am creating the object like this. But if I create the object like this, that is the name of the interface equals to new, the name of the class which is implementing the interface, then I can only access the functions which are coming from the interface. Okay? So you have, you can only write over here, lab L dot boot, L dot recharge, L dot shutdown, but you cannot write L dot camera. You will get an error because camera is not coming from the laptop interface. Although I am creating object of HP laptop, you cannot access it. You cannot access this. Any questions? 
anybody having any questions or doubts please feel free to ask me right don't think that uh, you are not able to understand you can understand it later on or something right if you want me to repeat something then let me know okay so i guess everybody is able to understand right okay koteshwar is saying can you repeat uh, this well koteshwar you want me to repeat the concept of this line this particular line okay i uh, i'll repeat this look i'm creating the object like this over here in a primitive way the way i taught you in the last classes you write the name of the class reference equals to new name of the class through this you can access all the features of this class all the features of the laptop class include the functions boot shutdown and recharge these three functions they come from the laptop interface plus hp has got its own function called camera so you can access all these four from here but if you create the object like this laptop l equals to new hp laptop that means equals to new class which is implementing the interface right then you can only call the functions which are there in the interface you cannot call the function which is not there from the interface like camera function is not coming from the interface laptop only these three are coming right so the declaration is like this interface reference equals to new class which is implementing the interface you have to write it like this now how is this helpful in selenium how is this thing helpful in selenium now we know that i just told you that web driver <coughs> is an interface and all the classes are implementing the web driver interface okay now suppose this is a scenario a scenario in which you are required to try out multiple browsers if i need to try out i i need to try out chrome i need to try out firefox and all i need to do testing on multiple browsers this is the scenario fine so what i'll do is i'll create a class over here called as multiple browsers right okay now suppose i have a string over here i write over here string browser equals to mozilla okay now i am hard coding the mozilla value here but generally what we do is that we'll read the browser from a excel file or a properties file whatever it is okay or from some text file from some external source we'll read which browser we need to test on right now i'm just putting mozilla here because i have not told you i have not taught you how to read from excel file properties file and all okay and we declare a reference that is web driver driver equals to null that means driver is the reference of the web driver class but it is not pointing to any object right now. web driver is a interface okay now you can keep a check that if the browser is equal to mozilla then point the driver to new firefox drive okay and hold on okay else 
if the browser is equal to Chrome, then open Chrome driver. You write over here. Uh, just a minute. Wait. In that case, you first set the system property for Chrome, that is the path for Chrome driver to take this line, and then initialize driver to new Chrome driver. Right. Similarly, I would say browser is equal to i. Then you need to set the system property for i and then initialize driver to new internet. Explorer driver. Okay. Now, how is this helpful? Suppose from the Excel file, browser name comes as Mozilla. So, web driver interface is web driver is interface. Okay, I have kept the object references now. So dynamically I will assign this to either Firefox driver or Chrome driver or iDriver depending on whatever is coming from an external source. Right? And once the driver is initialized, you can start working with it. You can write over here driver dot get get me the URL say http gmail.com so whatever is the browser which is coming it will open that particular browser and take it to the website right why don't you need to set the system property well <coughs> it's because it automatically finds the exe of firefox sometimes firefox driver it fails to start up okay Sometimes Firefox driver it fails to start up. In that case, you need to set the system property that is web driver dot Firefox dot driver and point it towards the exe file of uh, Firefox on your PC. But most of the times, Selenium automatically finds the exe file for Firefox. So you don't need to write over here system dot set property. And very rarely in some of the machines you get the error. In those machines, you can set the property web driver dot Firefox dot driver. Okay, but I guess uh, the concept would be clear by now. Suppose if I if I change the browser name to Chrome over here, the driver would be pointing towards the Chrome driver in that case, right? So anybody having any questions or any doubts till now? Any questions regarding Selenium, regarding WebDriver, anything? 